guys, how's it going? This is Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. Just here today to show you a little bit about flying tethered. What we have going on here is we have some thicker sort of kite style Dacron line and we're going to tether our drone down after we did a repair. We're not sure what it's going to do. So to avoid a flyaway, we want to do a tether. You want to use some sort of line that's going to be a line that's a heavier grade. You don't want to use like fishing line or something like that because it could possibly fly up into the propellers. Uh, if you do use fishing line, you definitely want to have it weighted somehow at the bottom, but we don't really recommend doing that. Uh, so what we have is kite style dyna line and it is in between the left side and the right side in between the, uh, the foam feet so that it doesn't slide past and slide up. You want to put it between the foam feet because if it slides back and up it could go to the propeller. So you want to keep it, make sure it's at the bottom. And you want to go side to side with it like that and then come out. The next thing you want to do is you want to have some sort of a sandbag. So here we have line. We probably got about eh, five feet of line. Don't want to really have any more than that for the test. So we're going to go ahead and turn everything on. Turn on your radio first. Turn on the copter. Okay, now we're going to wait about 30 seconds, 45 seconds to let the satellites load. It's really important to tether when you do a repair or if you have to open up your case, your shell of your, hot, your copter to do anything, check on any sort of solder points or ribbon connections. If you're reseeding anything or you're doing any sort of internal stuff, make sure that you tether when you do your test. Okay, so we have enough satellites to fly now. The lights are green, they're good to go. So we're gonna step back and give it a test. And I'll show you how it works. You just don't wanna go much higher than how far your line allows. Okay. Hold on to this one. Okay. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. So far it looks like everything is good. Everything's checking out pretty well. Level. We've already calibrated the compass and the GPS. go a little higher. We don't really want to go to the, the full extent of our tether. And the reason that we tether is if, if we do have any sort of flyaway, it's a lot better to deal with a crash or a couple broken propellers than it is to deal with finding your helicopter. Another good idea we always do, we always tell people to do, is put your name on your helicopter. You want to put your name and number and reward if found. Because people will call you if they find it, most times. Looks to be doing fine. You can see how that line is hanging down well above or well below the helicopter. The heavier line, the better so that it doesn't come up into the prop wash. Doing really well. Another thing we would suggest would be to put a GPS tracker on your helicopter. So you can find them cheap on Amazon or eBay or you can go to your local PetSmart and find a GPS tracker. If you put the GPS tracker on your helicopter and you do have a flyaway, you should be able to use your mobile phone to find it and track it. We've had some guys have flyaways and they haven't been able to find their helicopter. 
due to the fact that they didn't do any sort of uh, GPS tracking system. Some of them cost subscription fee, and there's others out there that you can find that are that are free to use. They come with a free app. So we're gonna go ahead and land. Everything looks good and checks out. And that's going to be a tethered test flight. Thanks for watching Drone Camps RC. I'm Justin Davis. Check out more of our videos on YouTube. Do a search for Drone Camps RC. Thanks for watching.